Okay, this is Android on a Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see, there's a little Pi icon there. If we go to settings, we go down to about, this is a Raspberry Pi 4. I know you could just change the name, but it actually is a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. So, I've asked myself quite a lot, can you use a Raspberry Pi 4 to make music? And the answer is yes! Now, so if I go here, we can do, oh, I can actually read though! Okay, we got a beat. <laughs> we got a beat on a Raspberry Pi 4. All right, now we need a bass line. Actually, I don't know if this is actually a bass. This is just like a super saw or whatever, but let's just try and like uh Why is it so zoomed in? Can I make it not do that? Um, I guess not. Okay, so if we just do that and then uh, copy and paste and then put it here. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, uh, let's just delete that. Okay, let's add, um... I like it. Like it. All right, now I need some like. Uh... Let's see. Um... I like that one a lot. Let's go with this one. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's a solo, isn't it?
It doesn't play very good. But it does work. You could potentially write music on this. Now, I haven't updated this Prime OS in, since it came out, really. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think the only way to update it is to like go through and just reinstall the whole thing. But yeah, you could potentially write music with a Raspberry Pi 4 with FL Studios. Now, of course, it's the mobile version. Not great. But it's still FL Studios. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.